This week in science, we start 25,800 light years away at the center of our galaxy in the Milky Way. With the naked eye, it's kind of hard to see given the dense clouds of gas and dust blocking the view. But if you look at it in a different way, you get this. Weird, right? What are all those scratch marks lingering out there in space? And where are they coming from? Here's the thing, we don't know. I'm here in the cosmic courtyard of Vancouver's H.R. McMillan Space Center talking about the latest twist to a cosmic mystery. See, we've known about these filaments at the galactic center since the 80s, but the latest effort to detect them has revealed nearly a thousand of the strange structures, roughly ten times more than we once knew about. This is the work of the Meerkat Telescope, an array of 64 antennas in the northern Cape Province of South Africa. It's able to see the universe in radio waves, which are some of the longest on the electromagnetic spectrum. This allows it to cut through the clouds, obscuring much of the visible light from the rest of the Milky Way, giving us a glimpse behind the curtain. Meerkat was pointed at the same portion of the sky for about 200 hours over the course of three years, and the resulting panorama is the clearest radio image of the galactic center ever produced. But it raises more questions than it answers. We know the filaments are magnetized and can stretch up to 150 light years in length. Some are curved, some show up in pairs, and others are grouped together in evenly spaced clusters, like the strings of a harp. We still don't know what their origin is, but the difference in the radiation these things give off suggests they are not the result of exploding stars. More likely, they have something to do with Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way. They may also be related to giant radio bubbles discovered in 2019, which extend far above and below the galactic plane, though again, we don't really know. The next step in solving this mystery is to study every one of these filaments individually and create a catalog that astrophysicists can really get their teeth into. And to end on a quote from Nobel Prize winning novelist Antonin France, the wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast, but that man has measured it. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.